And now a word on Jane Fonda, who appears to be fixated on an exchange I had with her months ago on this show. You admit you've had work done, which I think is to your credit, but, but you look amazing. Do, do you, have you, wh why did you say, I read that you said you felt you're not proud to admit that you've had work done. Why not? We really want to talk about that now? <laughs> Well, one of the things people think about when they look at you is how amazing you look. Well, thanks. Good attitude, good posture. Take care of myself. But let me tell you why I... I, I when she first complained publicly after the program and repeatedly, I chose to say nothing, as my general philosophy is what other people think of me is none of my business. <laughs> However, Fonda was at it again last week, including here on NBC and then again elsewhere, so it's time to address the poor me routine. First, some context. Fonda was on to promote a film about aging. For years, she has spoken openly about her joy in giving a cultural face to older women. Well, the truth is, most older w women look nothing like Fonda, who is now 80. <laughs> and if Fonda really wants to have an honest discussion about older women's cultural face, then her plastic surgery is tough to ignore. Fonda herself <laughs> knows this. She knows this. And that is why, to her credit, she has discussed her cosmetic surgery pretty much everywhere before coming on our show. Last year, I had plastic surgery, and I have been very public about it. I, I had to admit it. I just, I feel so good. I'm so happy. And I didn't, I didn't want to look kind of tired and jolly anymore. I feel so great and so rested, and I look so different. And I just decided, um, and I'm not proud of it, I decided I wanted to look more like how I feel. And she said the same to Entertainment Tonight, to Access Hollywood, to W Magazine for a cover piece, to The Guardian. I could go on. Apparently, when she came here, however, again, to promote her film about aging, I was supposed to discern that this subject was suddenly off limits. Look, I gave her the chance to empower other women, young and old, on a subject which she purports to know well, and she rejected it. That's okay. But I have no regrets about that question. Nor am I in the market for a lesson from Jane Fonda on what is and is not appropriate. After all, this is a woman whose name is synonymous with outrage. Look at her treatment of our military during the Vietnam War. Many of our veterans still call her Hanoi Jane, thanks to her radio broadcast, which attempted to shame American troops. She posed on an anti-aircraft gun used to shoot down our American pilots. She called our POWs hypocrites and liars and referred to their torture as understandable. Even she had to apologize years later for that gun picture, but not for the rest of it. By the way, she still says she is not proud of America. So the moral indignation is a little much. She put her plastic surgery out there. She said she wanted to discuss the plight of older women in America. And honestly, she has no business lecturing anyone on what qualifies as offensive. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.